just wanted to let you guys know the um, Skullgirls Indiegogo campaign has just three more days to go. Um, it's currently at $568,000. For the mystery character DLC, we need $600,000. And for the story mode, it is... 625000 At the current rate of donations, I'm pretty sure we're going to get... Oh, no, not this screen. Um... At the current rate of donations, pretty sure we're going to end up with the second character and their, or the mysterious character plus their story mode. Because um, there's always a last minute but burst of donations for this sort of thing. Like I've definitely seen it in Kickstarter and other stuff. So pretty sure we're going to get that. Um, there's also a new stretch goal, um, Main 6, the people that were doing Fighting is Magic and are now doing unnamed new project. Um, they'll get the Skullgirls engine for free if it's if Skullgirls reaches 725,000, and that's with the last day burst. That's definitely attainable. Um, so if you haven't donated already, go ahead and check out their rewards tiers. Um, you know the money all goes to making an already awesome game even better. Um, if you don't know why the you know why they need to crowdfund DLC for an already made game, check out the um, there's a giant bomb article on the matter that's really good and lays out the costs and you know the disconnect between what gamers think games cost, which is you know zero dollars, and what things actually cost, which is large numbers of dollars. Um, there's also a video form for the those of you with short attention spans that's actually really good um, I'm not doing well um, let's kick in sir. Um, by it's animated by this guy and it's um, Stanley's lecture that'll be in the in the description too I'll just link anything I'm talking about into the description um, it's a really good show um, good you know it's really funny and it does sort of show a little bit you know, hey, this stuff costs more than you might think, so you know. You know, there it's just a character, but you gotta remember it's a fighting game, and you know, fighting games are just characters. That's the entire gameplay, so you know, a lot goes into the characters. Damn it, I missed that twice. I'm not that great at the game, but if any of you have Skullgirls on PS3, um, I'd be glad to have a match. You can just PM me on YouTube and I can add you. Um, I'm not that great. I'm like this. Oh no, not you, Peacock. I'm not used to the team mechanics yet. Yeah, I'd really love to see the mysterious character happen. My current favorite is Stanley. He's how did you block? Him? I don't know. Um, he's a shark in a lab coat, which is all I should need to say on the matter. He just looks freaking awesome. And, um, damn it. there's also Isaac, who has, like, time paradox gameplay. Like, Mike Z said he might, he'll have, like, moves where he'll fire off an attack and hit you, but if you can cancel the attack, like, it's a time paradox, so the original attack didn't happen. So you get your health back, because the attack never really happened. Damn, you bitch! Ah! Aw, don't you dare. Yeah, I'm only decent with Valentine, and I am kind of sucking it up right now. But I'm not usually talking while I'm playing. Get back here! Plus, I've been completely unable to connect Cerebell's frickin' super throw. I should stop using that. Um, damn it. And who else was interesting? The For the third character, Eliza sounded pretty cool. She, like, um... When she's hit, she'll bleed, and then you'll be able to use the blood in specials, from what they said. Um, if you aren't aware, the Skullgirls people, they have a video, not a video, uh, a website out now, where they list all of the new characters that have been revealed, um, how they'll play, like, what, roughly what video, what other fighting game characters they might play, sort of like, um, and, you know, a description of them how they'll play and crap how their story works out I've never 
had a timeout happen before. That's new. You call that a fight? You've got a lot to learn. Yeah, usually solo Valentine, but that's not really Side effects may include nausea a good idea in this game. And death. The, you get more health overall if you have all three characters. So it's always preferable to have a team, especially since there's recoverable damage. That's what the red... Um, that red part of Philly's health bar there is recoverable damage. Ah, oh, crap, I did that early. Oh well. And Valentine's definitely not a good choice to solo because one of her special things is that she can revive a teammate with either f three meters or five. And also, her supers don't actually do all that much damage compared to uh, Cerebella's and uh, Peacock's. And Sarah Bell is pretty good if you can pull off the throws, because, like... Oh, she switched in. I thought I was hitting her assist. Um, I forget what I was saying. <laughs> it's hard to do all the talking while playing a fighting game, actually. Um, yeah, the Skullgirls thing, I really want to see character 3. Um, I don't think the second mysterious character is going to happen. Damn it, switch in. Okay. Titan Knuckles, so OP. Um, yeah, because we need over 200,000 in three days for the third mysterious character, or the second mysterious character. So that's probably not going to happen. The main six thing might happen. I'd like to see that happen. Um, lots of people think that it'll be tons of work for the main six people to switch over, but um, really. The difficult thing would be redoing the art assets, and they already have to do that anyway. So they've said they really do want to do, you know, they really do want to switch over the Skullgirls engine. And if you're technical at all, you know, if you're a programmer or just interested in how games are made and stuff, they've got some really cool details on the Skullgirls engine. Um, it's not always easy to tell, but it has full 3D, like, per pixel lighting on the 2D character sprites. Um, crazy HD sprites. The the sprites in game are actually um, 720p times two, and then scale down to 1080p. That's how ridiculously like they said one of Valentine's sprites is 200 pi or 2,000 pixels wide. One of her long um, yeah, that's gonna be chip damage. Um, come on, stop freaking blocking. Um, um, I keep forget what I'm talking about because I'm playing a fighting game. Um, but yes, oh, huh, I don't think I've seen that one before. I'm not good at air anything, so that's why I don't play Pain Wheel. I tried Arcana Height Heart 3 and I could not get a hold of all of the air dashing and the homing attacks and the floor is hot lava crap. Excellent. Um, but another thing I wanted to talk about, um, in case I have any fighting game fans in the audience, um, I'm looking at getting a fight stick. Um, there's this... what the hell is it? Um, I put it in my bookmarks. Okay, it is... Um, it's for PlayStation 3. It's this... Mad Cat's WWE All-Stars Brawl Stick that sounds like it's really easily modded, so what I'm thinking, um, I've heard that it's basically like the, um, Street Fighter 4 stick by Mad Cat's, it's the sta like the standard edition size, and so i probably try it out before I mod it, but I got linked to uh, Focus Attack, and it sounds pretty easy to do some modding and, you know, get maybe a better feel on the joystick, and definitely switch out the art. It sounds like this one's really easy to switch the art and um, do all the modding, so it's a great modder stick, and it's pretty cheap, cheaper than the Street Fighter 4 ones, so it seems like a good stick. My only problem, the only thing stopping me from buying it is I probably wouldn't be able to just... Why did I do that? Um, you're blocking like a freaking beast. Get, let me grab you. Aw, oh, damn it. 
I usually play on normal AI. This is hard AI. Not that it's compared to real people at all. Um, it sounds like it'd be a good mo uh, stick to start with. It's just I need something to... Um, I need stick art to replace it. So it sounds like it's the same size as the PS3 Mad Cats um, Street Fighter one for the, the standard edition version of the stick. Um, but what I would love is like some site that has like listed out um, like art that you know uh, stick art for that size of stick where I could actually like use it. Oh, that answers my question. Um, apparently that guy does not block supers. I figured he didn't. That guy blocks projectiles, the guy that jumped in front of Parasol. Um, yeah, there's like some threads on Shoryuken where people have, they show off their stick art, but I'd want something that I could like use, like where somebody has permission, you know, they put it under Creative Commons license or otherwise allow people to use their art on a stick. Or if you've made stick art, I have no idea if I have any fighting game fans in the audience. Um, but yeah, I I barely use um, GIMP. I don't have Photoshop, so I would be struggling to put something together. What I would love is a Skullgirls or Guilty Gear themed um, art, but you know, pretty much whatever. Anything that's not WWE All-Stars Brawl would be nice. Um, I'd mostly be getting the stick for Skullgirls and trying out. I probably. I'm wondering if I could use it on my PC. I would have more options there because I've got Guilty Gear and some stuff on PC. Damn it! I meant to uh, use the fl EKG Flatliner. Not that it would have connected anyway. I just need to spam supers. I have three bars of meter I'm never going to use. Um, so yeah, if anyone could help me in finding some art that's reasonable, or finding a place to get art, that would be awesome. <laughs> Boom! There you go. That was close. <laughs> One second left on the clock. Um, well, I guess that's all about all I wanted to talk about. Um... I was thinking of maybe streaming some Skullgirls fights. I probably would not talk as much because I can't... It's sort of like rhythm games. I can't talk while playing rhythm games. It just completely throws me off. Either I can talk incredibly slowly and unintelligibly, or I immediately stop playing the game. Like, I lose the beat immediately once I start talking, and I'm not really sure why. And fighting games are sort of like that. Which is weird because I can do the concentration in other games just fine. Maybe it's because I'm more used to playing other types of games and talking. But it's... I'm really not able to do this well. Even against NPCs. Where did... What the... Can you cancel that? Aw, oh, I always forget to block the second one. Oh, well. I also forgot to switch out. But yeah, I really want to see the Skullgirls thing happen. Um, this is an amazing game. Just absolutely beautiful. Um, this really should be the standard for 2D fighters these days. Like, um, Oops, that was major overkill. Oh well. <laughs> At least it was Shelly. Um, the art is just freaking beautiful. The animation. They had... Um, What's her name? The lead animator of Skullgirls was doing streams of her doing the animating. Some keyframes for Squiggly, the new character. That was pretty cool, cool to see. Um, they actually have pretty cool... Pretty cool um, that was too early. Um, streams, like they do salty cupcakes once a week. Um, where somebody will be playing some high-level Skullgirls. Or sometimes they'll have the... Um, voice actresses playing as their characters, that's always fun. Gotcha. So, go read the Giant Bomb article, watch Stanley's lecture, go throw money in the general direction of Mike Z and the Skullgirls crew, um, and give me stick art. 
not possibly not in that order. Whatever order works for you, honestly. Oh, and private message me if you want to play Skullgirls. This is fairly indicative of how well I play, so if you're super good, unless you want to go a little easy on me, I might quit. I might rage quit. I was trying to play um, during the uh, Evo, like the warm-ups for the Evo. Um, Cerebella. Um, I really need to switch in. Okay. Damn it. Stop comboing me. Yeah, I was playing some player matches. Um, is she immune while she's throwing her head? That should have connected. Sorry, got a tight knuckle spam. That was too close. Um, yeah, Titan Knuckles reach is ridiculous. But yeah, I was playing some player matches. Those people are freaking ridiculous. Like, one match, I got in like a couple of hits and I was just in the air taking 40 to 60 hit combos constantly. It was not good. And these were people that listed like their, um, they were listed as like casual or novice matches. <laughs> Those were not novice matches. This, this is a novice match here. Ah, the assist ran away. This is probably my favorite combo for her. The you get three hits with um, LP. Um, you get a repeated hit with MP, and then you get HK for the um, IV spear triple hit. And it's possible to miss the hit stun between the MP to HK, but. Um, I'd say 90% of the time it works. Sometimes you miss the combo for the... Like, you dro your combo drops out for the final hit, but that doesn't really matter. And if you fight me, you'll probably see a lot of that. <laughs> Unless you catch wise to it, because that's one of my favorite... How did you get hit by the first one and block the... Wait, can you block after Valentine started the EKG Flatliner? I've never seen them do that before. Why did I do that? Ugh, that was dumb. I really need to learn to use Cerebella, and I really need a third character. I'm not really... I'm not really feeling Peacock. Um, I don't... I'm not a big fan of zoning characters. I should probably learn how to play Philia. Um, I don't know, she just felt weird though. She, She's supposed to be rushed down, but I don't know. I don't like her normal... Um, button moves her magic combos and stuff as much as I like Valentine's. Because I feel very comfortable with Valentine's normal attacks. Whereas Peacock's all about the zoning. Though Argus Agony, I love Argus Agony. That's really good in almost any situation. And which I can't seem to oh, I'm out of meter and I'm I'm spamming supers and I out of meter. There we go. Oh well. I'll cut this off before... Well, you know what, I'll show you the boring final boss fight. As is fairly common in uh, fighting games, the final boss is... bleh. She's like weird-ass zoning character and just kind of stands there. Oh, it's not the final boss. Oh, well, I guess I'll just end it then. Oh, and if you didn't know, um... The composer for Skullgirls um, was also the composer for Castlevania, which is really cool. And she's done some other games, I'm not sure I recognize any of them. But Skull Skullgirls will be receiving, I think, at least four new stages and four new tracks from her, from the composer. I can't remember her name, but uh, she's pretty awesome. If you've played any, I think any, Castlevania game, you've heard, heard her work. I will end this recording after I beat up Philia. Oh, right. I, I need to learn how to use the syringes. Like, I know how to, but I like I don't have the technique down for the... It's basically a... Um, you do one move to charge up her syringe. Why is it not working? 
Oh, I was kicking. You do one move to charge up the syringe, basically, and then you do another to send it out. You hit me when I was coming in, you bitch. Ah, I wanted to hit Peacock. Come here. The annoying thing about Cerebella is her normal throw is really terrible, but some of her other stuff is really good. But I don't quite have the inputs in. Like, I'm not used to playing a grappler character. Nice. Come here. Too late. Yeah, I really don't have the timing down for the frickin' super throw. Try again. She's just kind of sitting there. Stop that. Stop that. You bitch. Time to run. I didn't mean to show you this match, but whatever. This was not really a Skullgirls Let's Play, but I just wanted to let you know. Go give them money right now. If you're not giving them money right now, I'm very sad face. I'm also sad face because of that. But whatever. I should be good. I'm kind of annoyed that Valentine's Supers do so little damage. Like, Argus Agony, I think, does twice the damage of EKG Flatliner. Which is a shame, because EKG Flatliner is my favorite attack in the game. It's just so badass. I also love the, the announcer. Um, if you didn't know, um, there's a whole bunch of bonus goals on the Indiegogo campaign. And they've all been met. There are a bunch of voice packs for characters or announcers, like there'll be a female announcer and a drunken announcer. Um, I forget who's doing the drunken... I think the Stanley guy is doing the drunken announcer. The guy who did the Stanley's lecture. Oh, crap. I can barely hear what's going on. Did she say rise from your grave? She does that sometimes. Which is pretty awesome. I love all the references in this game. There's so many references to so many different genres of game. Like, um, if you've ever played Tales of Symphonia, you probably recognize uh, Valentine's outfit here. Um, she's actually she's dressed like Sheena from Tales of Symphonia. And there's like a ha Harley Quinn outfit for Cerebella. There's good old. Oops. Just good old-fashioned um, black and white cartoon for Peacock. Peacock has so many references. She's awesome. I mostly use Peacock because she's hilarious, and I like how she runs. She's got high mobility, and that balances out Cerebella being so yeah, so slow. Like she can. Th um, oops, she was exploding. Do not walk up to people when they are exploding. It is bad for your health. Ow. Oh, and unfortunately, this will be 720p instead of 1080p. I was having some major issues with audio sync, and I just rage quit and decided... Oh, crap. I don't remember which one. There we go. Oh, crap. Even that one is weak against her. Also, pro tip, just spamming Titan Knuckle against Marie is pretty good. Like, everything does chip damage against her, but Titan Knuckle is pretty decent. Like, it does only slightly less than her, um, super. Than, um, what the crap is that called? Diamond Dynamo. Argus Agony is pretty good against her. I don't think I'm gonna win this one. Damn it. Damn it, stop! There are certain moves I like to spam against her. That's basically the only way to attack her because. Because there's no sense in, you know, getting sneaky because. She just sits there and takes punishment and has ridiculous amounts of health, and you're supposed to dodge stuff, which I'm failing at. 
Oh good, it didn't spawn me into the explosion. It's done that before. Yeah, it didn't have a chance there. You were exploded, miss. I take offense to you reanimating. That is... that is hacks. Oh well. This fight's pretty boring. <laughs> this is why I don't really want her as the third character, but... Or as the DLC character. I don't think she'll win, though. I'm pretty sure it's going to be either Stanley or Isaac. There are some other favorites out there, like uh, Panzerfaust. I just love the, the how literal Panzerfaust is. Because he literally has a tank on his fist. And that's just his thing. I still want Stanley to win, though.